Hi everyone, it's Hannah Orlamancy and welcome back to another doll customization video. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made Lapis Lazuli from Steven Universe. This is part of a series of Steven Universe doll revamps that I'm doing. I originally made Lapis back in 2017. When I, whoa, she almost fell. <laughs> when I was new to doll making, and a lot of my old Steven Universe doll videos have been taken down by YouTube, so I thought instead of just re uploading, how about I revamp them and give them their new outfits? So far, I have revamped Pearl, Peridot, Amethyst, and now Lapis. I still have quite a few more to go and I'm really excited about this little project that I'm doing and I hope you guys are enjoying it too. Anyway, thank you guys for your support and I hope you guys like the video. Here is my original Lapis doll, which is actually the third doll I ever made. I don't think it's super horrible for a beginner, but she needs a makeover. First, let's get rid of this old stiff hair. I tried to just pull out the hair, but I had actually done a good job at gluing it, so I cut it all off and then pulled out the remaining hair through the neck hole with tweezers. Next, she needs a fresh coat of paint. I chipped off as much of the old paint as I could and then wiped the remaining paint with 100% acetone nail polish remover. Then I painted everything white, and once dry I went over that with an aqua color. I used Liquitex Basics acrylic paint. When everything dried, I sprayed the face with Mr. Super Clear to prep it for the watercolor pencils. I also sprayed the body with a matte finish spray so that the paint doesn't chip. As usual, I used Faber-Castell watercolor pencils to draw on the face. I started off with a light blue for the initial sketch of the face and then darkened it with each layer. I sprayed Mr. Super Clear between each layer. Aside from the pupils, I used all blue watercolor pencils for this repaint because I felt like the black eyeliner on my old lapis doll was too harsh looking and stood out too much. I wanted her to look soft instead, if that makes sense. I think I accomplished my goal. I'm really happy with how her new face turned out. I finished the face up by adding dots of white acrylic paint to the eyes. I also added gloss varnish to the eyes and lips. Now for the hair. This time I'm using blue 100% acrylic yarn. I cut the strands to the length I wanted and then once I got a good pile, I tied them all onto a metal hoop. This keeps the strands in place while I brush it out. I used a pet brush to brush out the yarn strands starting from the bottom and then moving up. I brush until there are no knots or tangles.
Once everything was brushed out, I took a flat iron and straightened the yarn hair. Here it is! It's very soft and smooth. I love yarn hair. Next, I cut the hair off the hoop and set it aside. Then I laid out plastic wrap and used tacky glue to make the hair wefts. A plastic palette knife helps press the hair down and really coat the top with glue. Once the glue dried, I peeled it off the plastic wrap and cut the excess glue off the top. Here's my pile of beautiful yarn hair wefts. I used tacky glue once again to glue the wefts onto the doll head. I start at the bottom and then make my way up to the hairline. Once the wefts were all in place, I cut and styled her hair. A light amount of hairspray helps keep everything in place. Let's move on to Lapis's clothes. I used the pajama pant pattern from DG Requiem on Etsy, but I altered it to have this flare at the bottom of the pants so I can get this harem pants look. The pants have just six pieces, two back pant pieces, two front, and two leg cuffs. I sewed the two front pieces together along this curve here. Then I sewed the two back pant pieces to the sides. Next I sewed a basting stitch along the bottom of the pants so I could pull the thread and make it ruffle. I sewed the cuffs to the bottom of the pants and then folded the pants to sew along this back curve here leaving an opening for the closure. Then I sewed along here and hemmed one side of the back opening using glue. I wrapped an orange ribbon around the pants, glued it together, and then glued down the bow I made. I wish the bow was a little thinner, but oh well. Now for her top. Yet again, I used a DG Requiem pattern, but I altered it since Lapis doesn't have just a solid color bodice. I started with hemming the top half of the bodice with glue and then gluing it down to the bottom half. I did the same with the two back bodice pieces. Next, I sewed the two back pieces to the front piece along the shoulder. Then I hemmed the neckline and arm openings also with glue. I sewed the sides of the bodice together and then placed it on the doll to cut out the back opening since Lapis's gem needs to show. I hemmed everything and then added Velcro. For Lapis's sandals, I cut out soles from felt fabric and then sewed it onto the foot with this thick gold thread. I used epoxy sculpt to make her gem, and once it dried I taped around the gem so I don't get any paint on her body. I painted it dark blue and then once dry, I used gloss varnish to make it shiny. Then I peeled off the tape. Ta-da! Lapis Lazuli is done! I love how this revamp turned out. Here is the before and after picture. Once again, the left is from 2017 and the right is now. I realized later that I forgot to photograph Lapis's gym, so let me just add in this phone picture. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!